Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get singles for all your Force of Will and other trading card games, as well as these amazing patrons. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the video. Hey there, Rulers. DMO73 here, bringing you the deck profile for the Ouroboros OTK that you saw Paul pilot earlier this week, primarily designed based off the lists that we saw in... Um, Collinsville GP, as well as, you know, Mike Rant continually pushing me to put this list on the channel for him because we've talked about it a lot. But like we said, the whole concept of it is to very early on use the new resistance spell to bring in Ouroboros, set your opponent's life to 20, and then attack on your turn. This deck has a couple backup strategies to that, which we'll talk about, um, but that's kind of the whole point of it. Um, you will recognize that I forgot the stone deck. Stone deck is pretty simple. It is um, a total of four copies of Adaraktia's Memoria, four Heat Rays, and then we're also playing two of the um, green, red blast, uh, Blasting Waves, just so we have the ability to cast um, something like, why did this keep breathing the wrong one? Something like Guardian of Outland, just so we have the two green to be able to cast this guy, um, but or you know play things like Artemis and stuff. But ultimately, you don't really need the, the green, so we're just playing a two, couple copies of it. So let's jump in. Obviously, Lenneth is on our front side, primarily just using her so that we get the triggers off Caduceus and maximize the value, because we want to play it that way. Um, and then Stranger-wise, we're playing one each of Apollon, Amaterasu, Frigg, Ushua, Guardian of Outland, and Artemis. Miss, and then two copies each of Regulus and Azazel. Um, you're not really using your strangers a ton in this deck. Uh, you're primarily also going to cheat them in, if anything at all, with Palace of the Three Goddesses, um, since you're going to have Gatekeeper of Elsevaria on board, most likely. Um, but ultimately, you know, you're a stranger deck, you have to have 10 strangers. There you go. Um, Main deck wise, I'll quickly just go over the combo and then kind of tell you how we're filling out the deck for the rest of it. The main combo obviously is four copies of Ouroboros um, because we want to be able to hit the thing that we're cheating into play. Four copies of Resistance to be able to cheat him into play. This is also an excellent card to keep recycling over and over again with Caduceus to find the cards you need. Uh, and then also Caduceus obviously to be able to pay for Resistance effectively. And then in terms of removal, we're primarily playing Raisin Revive. You can also use Surter um, to get through as your push through for damage. Um, there's cheaper options, but again, this is kind of going to the package of the backup strategy. Then for the backup strategy, we're playing, as well as for draw power, we're playing for Gatekeeper of El Savaria. It is an excellent tool for this deck to be able to find what it needs, um, as well as being able to set up for the backup strat. Um, and then the two copies of Nyarlathotep, two copies of Isis, um, two copies of Anubis, two copies of Alasaurus, the three Surters, um, one copy of Angraboda, two copies of Ushua, and then um, the Palace of the Three Goddesses, and then Crossing Point. Crossing Point in this deck is essentially a pay to quick cast RFG, the top seven cards of your deck, because you have no goddesses in the main deck. Um, but it's to set up to be able to play Palace for super cheap. And if you have Gatekeeper of Velsivaria on the board, then all of your fire and light resonators in your hand are treated as goddesses. So you have this handful of fire and light resonators. You play this super cheap Palace of the Three Goddesses. Bam, you can put them all into play super effectively and flood your opponent's board down that way for a backup strategy. You will also note that every single stranger we have is a fire or light stranger, uh, except for Frigg. Um, so all of these could also be cheated in if you're getting them into your hand while playing things like Caduceus and stuff like that off of the Lenneth. Overall, it's not really too much to say about the list. Um, you've seen it piloted. It's pretty much the core concept of it. It is fun to play. It is fun to sneak wins against your opponent. Um, the more your opponent is kind of prepared for it or, or more willing to respect it in terms of having easier access to cheap removal, um, protections, cancels, things like that, you're going to have a harder time. But it's definitely something that you can use to sneak in a few wins if people aren't expecting it. So hope you guys liked this deck profile. Let us know your takes on Lenneth um, and things that you're maybe ways that you've been playing her in the meantime now that we've seen AO3 or maybe ways that you're excited to play here potentially with AO4. Uh, and until next time, this is DMO73 saying class dismissed.